So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael. Take a seat while I quickly tell you about Isle of Sky from Chieftain to King by Mayfair Games. A game that involves tile placement and also trading and kind of setting the prices blindly in an almost blind bidding kind of way. The nature of the game is that you're trying to get the most points. The way you're going to get points is by building up your kingdom. There are these variable score tiles that will trigger at the end of different rounds and you only use four out of this big whole scack. So there's a huge amount of replay value in this game and it means that there's a lot of depth in the different things that you can go for. You've got to look at when the things are going to be scoring and try and optimise towards heading towards things for later game as well as for the immediate scoring which means that there's a good amount of strategy in this. And that's one of the things I like about this. All the strategy and luck is balanced. The big luck aspect in this game is that each round, each player will draw three of these tiles that are going to be placed into kingdoms. However, once they've drawn them, which is luck of the draw, they're not necessarily going to keep them. It's all about how they choose to use them and play them. If you can see that someone is going really heavily on one scoring technique and they're going to like nail it if you leave the tile there for them to potentially buy off you, you can axe it because each round you have to choose one tile to axe. So you could axe something that you know will be useful to other people because you can't afford to put the price high enough so that they can't buy it. You might see someone else has something you really need. So you'll set your prices low in order to have money left over to buy or you're late in the turn order. So what you do is you set your prices medium amount hoping people buy your tiles thereby giving you more money so that you can then buy the tile you actually want from a different player. So, so much strategy with regards to the interaction with regards to setting your prices and having money left over from that trading thing because you're then going to reveal, get rid of and go around the table starting with the first player and you've got to factor in, you know, when you're the first player you're not going to have any extra money from other people buying your tiles in order to buy other tiles you don't have to buy a tile um, but if you don't, you might end up with a lot fewer tiles in your kingdom which isn't necessarily a problem. It could be very beneficial to have lots of tiles but the key thing is you want the tiles that are going to score so having lots of tiles that aren't scoring isn't going to help you. And so yeah, that, that is the game basically. You then just place them, very simple, very easy to play, very accessible for new players, which is something I absolutely love about it. The different score token, the different kind of scoring methods for kind of conditions means that there's a huge amount of replay value absolutely think this is a fantastic game, easy to learn, easy to teach, a good amount of depth for experienced gamers that will keep them coming back to it time and time again, but with gorgeous artwork, gorgeous components, and yeah, just so much going for it, it's so replayable, the scaling is fantastic on this game, I would happily play this with two to five players as it states on the box, though I will say because of the way the trading works, it is best with five players. Okay, that's my thoughts on Isle of Sky from Chieftain to King. I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel, as well as subscribing and sharing. And as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.